then guys, so today we are bringing you a, another battle all the way from Northumbria, okay, in the land of anamorphic animals. Uh, it is burrows and badgers, okay, my current favourite game. Um, what more is there to be said about a game where you basically have rabbits and moles and Christ knows what else, basically just duking it about in a Mordheim-esque um, sort of mini skirmish game. Models are fantastic, um, so beautiful, uh, lovely to paint. If you want to check them out, go and check them out at Oath Sworn Miniatures. Um, today I'm going to be joined by John and he will be taking on the role of his newly formed Royalists. Okay, and he has uh, led by a knightly hare with uh, armour, shield and sword. Uh, he then has a um, dog and uh, or hound as they're referred to and he is also armed similarly with light armour, sword and board. He then has a mage with two spells and uh, a couple of mice, uh, again a, mi a mouse with uh, light armour, sword and board and I think he's got a crossbow and then he's got another mouse with light armour and a crossbow. So quite a Quite a well-armed little band of uh, creatures and uh, we're going to be playing an open battle so uh, it's basically first one to break. Secondary missions will tell you obviously once we're in game. Uh, for me I will be running the free beasts and I have a massive beaver. A um, few girls in Colville have, have said that uh, but um, basically he's got master crafted very heavy armour He's also got a master crafted sword and a magical, uh, well actually I did roll a magical ring of hiding but I didn't see much point giving that to the beaver so uh, uh, giving that to my uh, number two who is an adder mage with two spells. I then have a rabbit with a bow, uh, I have a mole with a blunderbuss because why not and I, then I have a kingfisher with sword and board and finishing off uh, for model number six in my warband, I have a shrew zerker, and uh, he basically is semi-naked shrew with a double-handed weapon for some duking out some fun. Um, so there is a ten-point uh, variation between the warband ratings. So John does get an extra fate point, so he'll be on eleven, and I'll be on ten. And um, we will start the game, and it's the first one effectively to route or break the uh, the opponent. Okay, battlefield is set, so I hope you enjoy, and um, please leave comments and don't forget to subscribe because we need those subscription guys, and uh, you're going to want to know what's coming. There's going to be more and more of this stuff coming, so uh, do subscribe, then you'll get notified. Okay, obviously it's slightly slower content, or slightly slower getting the content out at the minute, but we're doing what we can under the current guidelines okay so enjoy and uh, please do uh, leave some comments behind okay so see you in a bit okay so here we are the scene is set for the open battle uh, we're in the small village of little ramsbottom uh, on the outskirts of north imbria and the royalists are um, entering into the town and the free beasts are coming in for supplies so uh, unfortunately there's going to be a clash so um the forces of the Royalists I've set up just outside the ruined church and fairly compact deployment, so five models in total. And then for the free beasts, the mole is starting underground. We then have the snake and Brutus the uh, beaver. And then have the shrew zerker just behind the snail house, the archer rabbit, and behind the woods we have the kingfisher. Okay, so uh, here we go into turn one. Okay, so we're halfway through turn one. Uh, the adder has moved up into the uh, church ruin or the chapel ruin. Uh, the shrew zerker has moved up behind the um, general store and the kingfisher has moved up behind the mushroom house. Uh, for the um, royalist, the dog has moved up to uh, this little building here and hidden. Same with the crossbow mouse. And then a little bit of action now is the mouse here has moved up 
and he's now taking a shot at the Kingfisher. So um, John has added a fake dice, so he's rolling two versus my one. He is at minus one as I'm in proximity to the building. Okay, uh, so four is his highest. Three is my highest, but John's at minus one. So three versus three, no damage. Okay, so that's that done. Right then, so bringing the turn to a close, the um, uh, Royalist Frog moved over to the uh, Church Ruin and tried to cast Light in Bolt at the uh, Rabbit, which failed. Uh, Brutus moved up to the wall, and the Hare Leader uh, has moved round to the uh, little bakery area there. And uh, he's taken up position there and hidden. And then the last action is the Mole has appeared. Okay, so the Free Beast Mole has appeared in the deployment zone of the Royalists and armed with his Calibre, he's just about to pop the um, frog in the back. So I'm going to throw a fake point in. Do you wish to throw any fake points in? No. No? Okay, so it's uh, D4s versus D6. That's, uh, and I get a 4. You're at minus 1 in here. Yeah, but that comes in a minute. Ah. So four versus two. Okay, so with all the modifiers of uh, strong for the um, caliber, for uh, the delicate um, sort of status of the mage, uh, various other bits, and the mage has taken 11 damage. So he's on two wound increments and five away from being out of action. So sneaky, sneaky mole. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so uh, that is the end of turn one. Okay, so uh, with um, the roll-off made, the uh, Royalists get to go first. The first action was the frog has uh, just moved in under the window there and uh, has uh, used some Lugwort to cast Heal on himself and has healed back six wounds. Okay, so uh, free beast go. Okay, so uh, the rabbit has just fired an arrow. Um, down the battlefield towards the lead mouse there and managed to put three points of damage on him. Okay, and it's uh, your go. Okay, so just to bring you up to speed with the lack of action, um, the mole basically activated, the mouse with the crossbow, who was waiting for him to activate, instigated an ambush and shot, which failed. The mouse then, uh, sorry, the mole moved forward and tried to shoot the mouse and failed and then the mouse activated and tried to shoot the mole and yep you guessed it failed okay so there we are that's why we didn't film that bit okay so the kingfisher went in against the mouse uh, but the mouse led a charm life and managed to roll the optimum roll um, so even though the kingfisher rolled a decent five uh, didn't manage to do anything to the mouse subsequently um, the hare seeing an easy target has uh, decided to go and sort him out. So, uh, charged by the hare into the kingfisher, and to add insult to injury, he's only going and using a fate point as well. So, 2d12 versus a d6 of the kingfisher. So, the kingfisher is at minus one because uh, the mouse is basically fighting me okay, as well. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm d6 minus one, and you are d12 plus two because you're charging. And six, six. so it becomes an eight. Uh, oh, that's not good. Eight and a one. Okay, uh, so it's minus one, so it goes down to uh, zero effectively, but it always uh, can't go below that, so um, we'll work out the damage. Okay, so Brutus has moved up um, behind the general store, and uh, the uh, mage has just burnt a couple of fate points in order to hit the... Uh, the hair with 11 damage, however, his talisman popped and reduced that down to five, was it, or six? Uh, five. Five damage. So, um, yeah, hair's taken first first bit of damage from the wizard. Okay, and that ends that turn. So, uh, into turn three. <laughs> okay, comedy moment so far. Uh, the snake, first activation of the turn, decided to try and put some more power or more pain down on the uh, on the hair who seems immune to taking any damage. Um, used a fate point to make sure I didn't hit my kingfisher. Worked a treat, passed on both rolls. 
needed a 2 in order to cast lightning bolt on a d8 and uh, yeah you know it uh, rolled the rolled a 1 so uh, yep that's that activation over an epic fail okay so the sniper mole um, has moved four and managed to get optimum roll against the frog wizard and literally splatted him up against the side of the church. So basically, just to recap, the mole tunnelled up behind the frog, got a six, shot him, wounded the frog, frog ran away, hid in the church, cured himself, then the mole comes back around and blats him again. <laughs> Dead frog. OK, <laughs> so move on. Okay, everyone, focus in on this hare, all right? He's supposedly a knight, but he's picked on the smallest animal on the battlefield, <laughs> the kingfisher, and he's gone in and given it a whack. Um, all you can see is metaphorical feathers. There is nothing left of the kingfisher, and the hare needs to go and take his knightly vows again. Okay, so new turn, and uh, both used a fate point to try and secure this as it's vital. And um, unfortunately for the free beast, the royalist won it, and the hare has got the charge in on the beaver. So uh, it's uh, the uh, the very brave hare, having killed a kingfisher, is now going up against a beaver. Good luck for this one. So the shrew uh, fails to get past the dog's armour, and the crossbow mouse take sniper mole out oh no so uh next what should we do uh let's let's fire an arrow down at that little mouse um not gonna do much on a two i don't think uh although i did win so a couple of points okay so final recap on this turn the adder broke cover to try and put lightning bolt down onto the mouse does did manage to put uh well, no, I actually didn't get it off, actually, so I didn't cast that. And then um, the mouse fired a crossbow bolt back and did a massive amount of damage to the adder. 11 points, so the adder is really in trouble now. Um, and obviously, remember, that is one of the bonuses for the uh, um, royalists, is to take the mage out. Uh, the beaver failed to do any damage against the hare. Uh, even though using fate points, so now the free beasts are completely out of fate. And uh, roll off for next turn. Right, okay, so um, got a five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so beam fouls again. Let's do any damage. Okay, so uh, not much happened at the end of the last turn. Uh, lots of combat going on over here, but not managing to get through any armour. However, the mouse, start of this turn, has managed to take the uh, the adder out uh, with a crossbow shot, and the adder is no more. And um, now the uh, freebies, one more, and they are having to take a route check. Okay, so the, uh, the rabbit archers managed to put another couple of wounds on the uh, the mouse, who's now decided to run and take cover uh, to avoid break tests. And uh, other than that, pretty other than the loss of the adder, uh, we're into another new turn. So uh, turns racking through now, and uh, now into the afternoon in the uh, in the village here. But uh, big fight going on, but not a lot happening as uh, the shrew manages to keep rolling a six for defense and um, keeping that hair away. Okay, so the beaver, with his master crafted sword, managed to uh, just about sneak, a, sne sneak through the, uh, the hare's defences, uh, popped his killing blow, um, which is his one-off skill bonus, and has managed to put the hare within one point of dying. However, due to endurance, the hare is not suffering any adverse effects for these wounds that are accruing, but he's one point away from succumbing and going out of action. Okay, so the dog, with his uh, ability to ignore the beaver's armour, has managed to put some wounds on the beaver, so he's now uh, at five wounds, five damage, and uh, has uh, suffered the first increment. Uh, the mouse crossbow is deciding to fire into combat with no fate points, so on a one or two he's gonna hit um, one of his own, so, uh, and he doesn't, so he hits the shrew, yeah? Yep. Okay, so uh, uh, d6. 
uh, 4 and um, the shrew is d6 as well uh, so versus 1 so 3 and you get um, plus 3 for sta uh, plus 2 for standing still so 6 minus 1 for the terrain 5 win by 4 win by 6 because of the crossbow damage so win by 6 on that one and finally Brutus stands above the bloodied body of the hare can the dog take revenge on his leader's demise and the rabbit has just got a maximum score against the uh, mouse uh, luckily for the mouse he did manage to get the five but it still meant eight damage from an arrow into his uh, upper body okay end of turn recap uh, the beavers uh, given the the dog a little punch now uh, clipped him down three wounds and and also uh, drank his healing potion which brought him back down to no damage uh, however the mouse behind him who was Quite badly wounded uh, managed to shoot him in the back of the calf and do a point of damage and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, roll off again to see if uh, that ends the game so uh, here we go uh, D oh. <laughs> right so i need to beat a two on a d10 yeah we get another round okay okay so the other mouse had come around to try and support his buddy who had now got four life points and run and hid however the sniper hare, or sniper rabbit even, managed to uh, put one between his eyes and uh, 11 points of damage saw the end of the mouse, which now puts the royalists also at the uh, break level. So, uh, interesting end of turn. Okay, so uh, with dust falling, both sides having um, reached their break level, um, fortunately both of them failed on the same turn, so um, the three beasts have survived three or four roll-offs, uh, managed to uh, clip the final mouse that uh, pushed the royalists over the edge, and uh, both, the, both the factions uh, moved away as the uh, light was getting too much. So, real tough battle there in the middle, uh, Beaver just couldn't make any headway against the... Uh, the hair, um, lack of fate points, used too many early doors, um, I think probably could have really done with uh, also just some whiffy rolls I know, you know, on the beaver's behalf. Um, so another great, uh, another great game of Burrows and Badgers and uh, another convert, um, John played many games, um, various different ones, bolt action, 40k, uh, Warlords of Era 1 and uh, already picked the rule book up and is uh, getting his own warband sorted. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any questions or queries, pop them in the links below. Please do remember to subscribe and look forward to uh, more content coming from Burrows and Badgers. So uh, hope to see you soon for uh, the next game in our little campaign here as uh, we both go away, lick our wounds and uh, ready to do battle again. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.